Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at a program called SXIV. Now, chances are sometime during this video I'm going to mess up that name, so just be, be prepared for that. It's definitely going to happen. If you watch the videos I did on SXHKD, chances are you'll know exactly how this video is going to go. Uh, I can't say names worth a damn, and that's just the way it is. So, what is X SXIV? Uh, SXIV stands for Simple X Image Viewer. Uh, and it does exactly what it says. If you run this program on an image, it will let you view the image. That's basically what it does. Now, it has a whole ton of options, and I'm going to go through some of them. So I, I will point this out that I'm not an expert in this program, just like everything else. I, I'm just getting into it. I've used it for a couple days, and I've used it a little bit before. Uh, and there's just tons of stuff that you can do. And there's a, one of the neat, neatest things you can do is actually use it to run commands on images. Uh, and I'm only just barely dipping my toes in that that ability. And I'm going to show you a little bit of that too. But there's so much more that you can do this beyond what I'm going to be able to show you. So just keep that in mind. I will link to the Arch Wiki page. And that has a little bit of what you can do uh, uh, there. And it also will uh, uh, provide you with the code that I used for the, the commands that uh, are available to you. Um, but... If you're really good at bash scripting and stuff, there's just tons and tons of stuff that you could do through SXIV that will allow you to manipulate uh, your images in certain ways or whatever. So let's go ahead and jump into, uh, we'll actually look at the, the ArchWiki page first. Uh, and that's this here, and I will zoom in so you can actually see it. Uh, and it, it's not, there's not a ton of information here, but there's some tips and tricks and there's some... Uh, Ex explanation of the things that you can do on it and it also shows you about how to get set up on doing uh, key bindings and stuff so like I said I will link to this in the video description and um, we're not going to spend a lot of time and I'm not going to sit here and just you know read it to you you can just go ahead and go read it but uh, this is probably the best source I believe that there's a github page I might be wrong on that let's see here yeah there is a yep, there's a github page I will link to this as well oops went to the wrong direction and this has a little bit more information about what you can and can't do with, with it. I'm not sure if there's a wiki or not. Let's go up here. No, there's no wiki. But uh, there's a good man page, which I'll show you now. Uh, if we do man SXIV, this is the man page. And there's just tons of tons and tons of options that you can do with it. Uh, I, I've just barely scratched the surface of some uh, of these. And... Um, I'm going to show you the, the favorite mode that I enjoy using the most, and that's probably where I'll focus most of my attention. But if you have a problem with the, you know, or you want to learn more and more about the X SXIV, you can go through and read the man page. It's definitely going to help you. So let's look at SX, XXIV. Uh, let's CD into my pictures folder and walls, and uh, I guess it doesn't really matter which one I do here. Now look, let's look at it. I think this one has uh, CD City Porn. I can't type, and this one here has just a few images on it. I don't need a lot, a lot. Um, and if we just ran SXIV with nothing, with no uh, file after it, nothing would basically happen. But if we just want to do SXIV and then do the first, the first one here, I mean. It, lets you view the image. I mean, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. There's nothing complicated about it. It's kind of like fe in this uh, way. It allows you to view images. But if we uh, make this full screen, there are key bindings that allow you to go through and uh, manipulate the uh, image. So if we do uh, the um, chevron, I believe these are chevrons, that those are actually rotate it. And if we do... Um, I think plus, yeah, plus, plus and minus, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, w fits it to screen. And then if you're zoomed in, you can use the Vim keys in order to move around. And that is, there, there are several other ones. Like I said, you can view the rest of them in the man page, but those are the basic things you need to know. Zoom in, zoom out, plus, minus. Uh, H, J, K, L to move around if you're zoomed in. Uh, w to set it to the size of the screen again. And um, the the left and right chevrons to I think that's what they're called um, the little arrow things um, anyways to rotate and then Q to quit 
that's the basic functionality of SXIV. Uh, now there's, t like I said, there's tons more that you can do with it, with the base, even just the basic key bindings. The real uh, power of SXIV actually comes through when you can, because you can run commands on images. Actually, before, before I go through and show you that, let me show you the thumbnail view. So if I just do, as you can see, all these are .jpegs. So if I do S SXIV dash T and then, uh, tell it to show me all the ones that end in .jpg. That will show me a thumbnail view of all the ones that are in that folder that end in .jpg. Um, I believe if you had other uh, file extensions, you could just do .jpg, uh, asterisk .jpg, asterisk .png, and so on and so forth, and it will show you all of them. And in this view here, you can move back and forth using uh, your Vim keys, H and H and L move side to side. J and K would move up and down if there was more rows. Now that I'm here, let me show you one of the things that I can do through using a command. So if I do, let's say, uh, actually, I don't like any of these images here. I'm going to quit out of this and CD up a level and CD into um, Earthform. I think I have, oh yeah, there's more in here. So let's do a SXIV dash T and this will, yeah. As you can see, it takes a while to uh, cache these into the program. If you leave and come back after it's done, they're already cached. I believe it saves it somewhere in the config file. I'm not sure where. But let's just say, I wanted to show you what I could do with a command. Let's just find a big uh, one here that I, you know, like. It doesn't really matter. Let's, let's do this one here. And, uh, I don't know if you can see the outline here. Um, so if I do control... X and then control W. You'll see. I mean, you probably didn't. You probably didn't notice my uh, wallpaper before, but you can see now my wallpaper is that. And I can do it again. Uh, let's find. Uh, how about this one? Here? Control X, control W, and then it changed the wallpaper. Now it does not do this by default. You have to go through and set it yourself. So let's go back here, and I'll show you how I did that. Let's quit this and CD back into home directory and just. Uh, Clear this out, and we'll cd into dot config sxhiv slash exec. Now, look at the Arch Wiki page because you actually have to create this man or, or um, make this directory, and you have to copy uh, the uh, standard command file or whatever to this directory, or create it yourself by copying pasting the the script off from the the Arch Wiki page, which is what I ended ended up doing. So if I do this and you can see in here there's a script. You have to remember to make it uh, executable. And we're just going to vim into key handler here. And that's what this is what this is basically a while statement. The one that I added was command w and then I used fe to act on the file variable which is the one that's selected. And that's how you, I select, I changed the wallpaper using xxiv. Um I believe you don't have to use command uh, to do this. So if I deleted just this and just made it W and wrote this, and then um, we'll just uh, CD into pictures, walls, and then uh, we'll just do um, SXIV yep, and this here, and then we'll just throw down and find one here. Doesn't really matter. We'll do this one here, and I could do Command X and then W, yeah, and then I can go to eight, and you can see it changes. So I don't, ha you don't have to use Command as that in the second uh, key binding. You just do. Uh, I keep saying Command. I mean Control. I haven't used Mac in ages, but for some reason Command has just been on my brain for whatever reason. It's Control, Control C or Control X, and then Control C W is what was before. Uh, uh, because I don't know where command came from. Control, control, good lord. Anyways, and then just I've changed just changed it to just W. So you could always just use, uh, just you know regular letters without the modifier key, which is good because that means uh you can also use mo the modifier key in case you created a whole long list of key bindings. You could use the letters and then modifier keys and then probably. If you figure could figure it out, like because it's it's the same kind of syntax as um, 
let's uh it's the same kind of syntax as you would see in a vimrc file kind of it has some weird stuff like i'm not exactly sure what on earth this extra parenthesis is i've never seen that before in any bash file but uh, i'm not an expert on bash so maybe that's just a, a, a weird shell scripting thing that's going on but normally when you have a, a parenthesis there's they have to be open and closed this one does not these are all just closed parentheses there's no open parentheses to go along with them there's not pairs um that's really weird so basically that's xx s x i v for you now like i said there's tons and tons of more stuff that you can go through and do with it that i i've barely scratched the surface and i've done so poorly but um, i really enjoy this program uh I, I like it more than Feb because of that ability to go through and say, hey, you want to? I can view these in thumbnail mode uh, and go through and select a, a, a wallpaper or a, a picture and set it as a wallpaper. That's really what I want to do. Um, I'm also going to go through eventually and, and try to somehow integrate this into Ranger so I could, you know, go into, let's see if I want to, uh, let's, uh, let's go back to this and just do uh, Ranger for Ranger. And this just shows me, you know, all the stuff. Now, see, my Ranger or whatever does not have uh, image previews enabled. I can't, for whatever reason, get them to work. Sometimes, uh, I take that back. I got them to work on Arco. I cannot get them to work on Manjaro. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. It doesn't matter. What I would like to do, and I'm going to do eventually, is create a key binding within Ranger, which will open up this, this directory, whatever directory I'm in, in an SXIV-T mode. Uh, so that all these would just come through and, you know, uh, come through in a thumbnail mode and allow me to set a wallpaper that way. Because um, I have a command here that I could set a, you know, a wallpaper, but without being able to see, I don't know which one I want to, you know, actually use. Anyways, that is SXIV for you. Uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this short little video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. I'm sorry about the whole command versus control thing. I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. Uh, I'm not redoing the video to fix it. <laughs> it's just screw it. Uh, I, I will put a little uh, text or something in there to let everybody know that I'm, I'm a moron. If uh, you enjoy the, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so uh, by subscribing or uh, going to patreoncom slash linuxcast or following us on Twitter. Any of those things, we really do appreciate everybody who follows and subscribes. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.